Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. We're going to do a little battle here versus a couple of uh, Italian light cruisers. It should not be too difficult. I hope. Uh, the Rodney is in this task force. I had planned to have her move to one of my Mediterranean ports and just stay there for, uh, like, convoy missions and such. Oh, it's the Stour. Alright. Uh, weather is not too great. And we have the Rodney here. Light cruisers, you can just uh, disengage, I think. Torpedo DDs uh, might have use for you guys. These are the torpedo spamming uh, light cruisers. Really, just saving those for uh, battles with the uh, huge enemy task forces. Okay, can you, can you stop that? Can you stop that? You're supposed to avoid collisions. Okay, let's go find the enemy. My Rodney is faster. Let's see who spots the enemy first. I think they're running. I think they are running. I, I will be able to catch them. That direction now. I've actually seen the uh, radar pings. There they are. Yeah, I'm catching up. They had a top speed of 30 something knots, which is 5 knots slower than the Rodney. Uh, drop down to times 10, which means we are getting closer. There they are. Are my battleships? Stour, are you not in range?
37 kilometers. You should have range. There you go. Big shots coming in. They're arcing so high, they're like above the screen. Yeah, 37 kilometers. At more than 5% accuracy. 6% accuracy. Uh, it looks like Rodney uh, is taking all the damage herself. Come on, you have range. Why are you not firing? Aggro. I don't care if you have a low chance to hit, it's not like you're gonna run out of ammo. You don't have a 50 kilometer range. That's. The Rodney can score some more hits and slow this guy down. Seventeen kilometers. Gonna go straight at her and catch up. Zero percent percent chance to hit. Why are you falling behind? I don't care if you have a zero percent chance to hit, just fire. Thirty point two knots top speed. Is this one of the yeah, it's one of the aluminum boats? H E Thank you. Oh there we go. She fired. Didn't hit though. Torpedoes off. I don't want to have any accidents. Even at 36 kilometers, the tower has a 5.5% chance to hit. But she missed. And with the reload that slow, I'm not sure if she's gonna have a chance to fire again. It's the DD is taking her apart now. Uh, she's shooting back at the Rodney.
Reload. Boom. Fired. Oh, it's too late. They will not get the hit. Rodney carrying the day. So, uh, yeah. I'm clicking, come on. Here's more of a battle. A lot of DDs. Mm, yeah. And two Adelaides. Now the Adelaides are, uh, they are good ships. They've proven themselves. Got uh, bumper cars going on because you guys are in a weird, like, cross shaped uh, division. Where's the last uh, DD? There you are. I want you just joining up with the other three. Uh, torpedoes off on the light cruisers. You can go 30, you can go 30, you can slow down to 30. To begin with, I just want the light cruisers to uh, help protect my battleships. DDs go out to hunt uh, enemy DDs. Let's go down to 24. the wrong side of the formation. Okay. 
sink these nerds. Torpedoes on. Let's get those torps in the water. Against the battleship. Torpedoes away, torpedoes away, torpedoes away, torpedoes away. More torpedoes swarming into the enemy, uh, like formations. Torpedo hit on a heavy cruiser. Donazella, quite expensive. More torpedo heads. This one, quite expensive. Now, quite dead. Turn torpedoes off again. And just follow the formation. Okay, let's take on these uh, DDs and then torp the battle cruiser. Big swarm of torpedoes against the Tara. Can she dodge? <laughs> it was a dud. Oh, bouncy. You took a torp. Torpedoes. Let's get my own torpedoes in the water before my DDs all uh, sink. Can you launch your complement of torpedoes? We have launched. Okay, let's take on these two destroyers. Uh, you two can retreat if possible. I think you might be dead. But at least these enemy DDs now no longer have torpedoes. So they are no threat to my... Uh, b 
battleships. Sinking. I was a little bit surprised running into uh, a group of enemy destroyers up here. I thought it would be easy to just get a torpedo run on the enemy battlecruiser. Uh, but no. Got some good 16 inch heads on that enemy battlecruiser. That's uh, that's why she's dead. hitting that much with my DDs, but it's partly because of the weather. have my light cruisers come up here and uh, help with the enemy DDs. Because mine seem to not be hitting much. One of them has a damaged engine. And I think she should be sinking.
There we go. Enemy smoke spotted southeast. I'm not gonna go hunting. Yeah, it was one DD that got away. Damage. Damage. Uh, Tara and Mouncy both survived, doing quite a lot of damage. Retriever did a lot. Um, you scored one torpedo hit. And the um, Royalist scored two torpedo hits. Not bad, not bad. Flirt. You won the damage uh, competition this round. 56,000 damage. So those 16 inch guns, they can pump out the damage. Come on now. There we go. Alright. Now. Now I can tick this. That's nice. We have our diesel engine. Getting marked two 17 inch guns. After having researched Mark 3. I, I don't get it. It's a mystery to me. We're going to design some new ships. Um, Bulwark, can I refit? Is the M repaired? M is repaired. Bulwark is being repaired. It's costing me more to just keep it in service than to repair it. Mm. Maintenance, 30 million a month. Repairing, only 7 million a month. Uh, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna refit these once the uh, bulwark has finished repairs. Actually, I'm just gonna... If I do a uh, refit on the M, how much is she costing me now? Now oh, it's down to 7 million. So it's much cheaper than just keeping it in service. Ship design. I want to design a new class of uh, battlecruiser. And I want to design a new class of uh, super battleship. Not like the Stour with the 20.9 inch uh, meme guns, but more like the, uh, more like the Bulwarks. Just, uh, just better. Let's go with the battlecruiser first. Let's roll. Hundred ninety-eight million. I think I will arm these with uh, 15 triples. 334 million.
206 and 250 let's see my latest um, my Trafalgar's 160 million Fox, Foxhound, that's a cool name by the way. I, I'm gonna keep that. Let's do the math. So what I do is I'm using my calculator, adding all these numbers together. 198 plus 334 plus 222 plus 200 six plus 250 okay that's 1210 let's divide by 5 242 let's multiply by 0.8 because I need my my budget is um, supposed to be 20% lower than the average 193.6 194 million See if we can build a good battle cruiser for a hundred and ninety four million player. I'm just going to turn down the beam just to begin with, make it minus two, draft minus ten. Speed thirty five is the uh, speed of my battle cruisers range. Might have to turn that down. Crew quarters. They don't cost me anything, but they add... Uh, they add displacement. Let's go with this one for now. Funnel there. I will probably have to move uh, move some stuff around to make everything fit. But I'm just getting my basics uh, mounted now. 20% longer. Coincidence. Hydro. RDF. Wow, RDF adds 10 million. I don't really need it if I have radar. Oil. Diesel. Means I'm gonna need to have another uh, funnel. And let's put all the good stuff on and then remove stuff as needed. Standard ratio. High capacity HE, capitalistic 2, heavy shells, increased ammo, tube powder, TNT 2, 196. Not even that much over budget. We're gonna need to have a uh, barbette here, I think. Needs to be a bigger barbette. Mm. 
There we go. That way to offset even. Is that the biggest funnel? That's 85 funnel capacity. That's 80. Can I fit two of those? Fit two of those. Ninety-seven percent. That's not bad. We're gonna shave off some cost. We are under budget. budget that's a four weight offset Pitch is terrible. No, this is not working. Big aft weight offset and big pitch. If I make the ship shrink, Gave me a big four weight offset. Still a big four weight offset. Ship's overweight. Okay, let's make the ship grow again. Bet. Mount you there. Actually, let's uh, get that barbet back. Move everything uh, aft. Why is the pitch so bad? Well, this is making the ship really overweight. If I shrink the ship down, which I would like to, even though I'm already under budget, 
like it, it kind of moves this wedge as well. Like so. Let's try this again. Okay, let's deal with this uh, four weight offset. Okay, four belt is thicker than the aft belt, but that might have something to do with it. Main belt, 17 inches. That's what my other battle cruisers have. Let's give them a little bit less uh, top armor. We can reduce the uh, belt armor a little bit, save some weight. Yeah, that's that seems fine. That seems fine. Seventy two per cent. These have That works, kind of. Some guns have poor sector of fire. They don't. My sector of fire is fine. Reduce the range a little bit. Uh, keep the beam. Forward offset, 2%, that's... Uh, I can deal with that. Have the bigger, biggest one, like at the front. I think that looks better. Seventy-five percent engine efficiency, though. It's not, uh, it's not like the greatest, but you know, it's fine. But I have anti-torp three, barbette four, and all the good stuff. I don't have a double hull bottom, no, triple hull bottom, because uh, because why? 67.8, adds Adds 1000 tons. Let's go double for now and uh, see what I can fit of uh, secondaries.
make them long, of course. That way, offset. I could put something else there. They don't fit there. Let's go for four inch. They fit there. And they fit there. It kind of ruins the uh, field of fire for the back turret. There we go. Now it's not in the way. And some three inch. Like wherever they do fit. Got a thousand tons left. Gonna fit two inches here. That's a lot of uh, a lot of DACA. fit them here also. Like, yeah, very nice. Getting an even better field of fire from that uh, turret. Yeah. It's very nice. It's under budget. I've got a little bit of tonnage left to play with. If I want to. Whenever I get better oil and better diesels. I think I will be able to refit this to like way less which will give me uh, the option of mounting other things. Yeah, triple fifteens on a battlecruiser. It's not bad. That's not bad. Like pitch not the greatest, but you know, let's make a new super battleship. The bulwarks are uh, not too effective. Let's roll. You got enough secondaries on there? Three hundred and thirty three. This one is going to have a triple sixteens. What kind of guns? Fifteens. Uh, three twenty five.
197. Gotta have that one uh, low roll. But it's... You know, if nothing else, this is actually a pretty decent design by the looks of it. It's similar to my Adelaide class battleships. Crop. Okay, it's not not quite not quite. Two eighty six. Give me another high roll now. Police. 248. Uh yeah, let's let's see what I get. My bulwarks had a budget of like 230 million. I think 333 plus 325 plus 197 plus 286 plus 248 okay 1389 divide by 5 277 multiply by 0.8 222. Well, that's less of a budget than my bulwarks. Can it be done? Uh, start from scratch. Because when I hit clear, uh, it doesn't actually clear whatever the AI came up with for armor. And I like starting with a Venturous. That's a cool name. I like starting with a clean slate. Uh, bump the draft down. Tower. 10,000 tower spotting. these really tiny secondary towers. Do I want more base accuracy? Plus 24 damage control, plus 33 damage control, plus 9 long range accuracy, plus 10 long range accuracy. I might actually want to go with this one. It's a little bit more expensive, it weighs a little bit more, but it seems better. And I can fit a funnel on it. Main guns. Sixteen triples. Barbettes. I think that's uh, a bit too much. I think that's fine. Okay, I got my basics. Make them long. Long schlong. Radar 3. Hydro 3. Coincidence. 
oil. Diesel. Gonna need more funnel. Auxiliary. I'm over budget. Let's add stuff and then remove. Ship is overweight. Plus 85, plus 90. Might actually go with a 90. That saved some money. Standard ratio, high capacity, capitalistic. Two hundred ninety. I need to slim it down by eighty million, and I need to shed some weight. I can reduce the beam a bit. Make the ship shrink a little bit. There's the uh, shrinkage point. Okay, let's go with the other uh, secondary tower, the one that was uh, smaller. offset but we can still play with the armor 17 on the main belt 7 4 and aft 6 main deck let's go 3 on the 4 and aft uh, decks 3 on the superstructure let's overweight again Go 17 on the gun turrets, 9 on the turret uh, roof. Okay, I guess 16 on the main belt. 250. Like, I think something has to be reduced. Like, I don't want these to blow up from a single uh, torpedo hit, as we saw happen to the bulwarks. So I'm not sure what I want to uh, uh, reduce on. 249. Shrinking it way down now. Now the ship is overweight. She's fat. She is fat. Can 
can I do with the smaller funnel now? I can. She's fat and over budget. Like this mostly adds resistance. There we go. After we to offset, we can play with that. We are under budget. Arcs of Fire, not the greatest, but all right. Okay. Let's play with the secondary guns. What kind of firepower am I getting here? Reload time, 98 seconds. AP damage, 576. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Secondaries. Two twenty. Make the six inches long. Four inch guns and the three inch. Are there like no barbettes for these guys? No? Add them there, I guess. And the two inch guns. After it offset. So, point three aft weight offset. I can live with that. It seems to mostly be a uh, pretty fine ship. What's my turning circle after reducing the size and everything? One hundred eighty-four meters. So if this thing starts eating torpedoes, then that's on me. Should be able to dodge. Save the sign. Gonna build four. So yeah, <clears throat> four of these and four of the uh, foxhounds. Did I build any foxhounds? No, I did not. Uh, I guess Sunderland for these two.
four of those. And four of these. Uh, Portsmouth. And uh, Plymouth. So the foxhounds are taking longer to build than the uh, new Venturous battleships. And I guess only time will tell which is the better design. And, um, oh, yeah. Researching Mark 2 17 inch after I've got the uh, Mark 3s. But, you know, that's that's fine. Once that's done, it will be either Mark 3 18s or Mark 4 15, 14, 16, and so on. So it's, uh, it's good stuff. Convoy. Let's do a convoy raid before I end uh, the episode. Calliope. 20 transports? Alright. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Where do I have radar ping? That's one radar ping. And we have more radar pings back there. So let's try and avoid these uh, DDs and go find the uh, transports. the best solution would be just to hit some of them and uh, slow them down and then escape because again the mission ends as soon as the transports are sunk but those two DDs are they're not really the prize here it's the convoys There, back there. Have you launched? That DD is no longer going full speed because she's lost some buoyancy. Which means I think I might outrun her. There we go. You did not launch. Transports are up. Let's just slow this guy down a bit more. Torpedo detonation, oh, how sad. Let's kill them. All 20 of them.
Better slow down or I just outsail the entire convoy. Complete slaughter. Let's go auto. Select your own ammo. See what works. sinking. Yeah. Should have sunk 20 transports. Soon. I think these... Oh, no, there are more. Speed up a bit now. Complete murder. Full speed. And by full speed, I mean flank speed. Because this is actually full speed, which is not the full speed. She's down. Do I want to go back and kill the DDs? Of course I do. Cannot have gotten far. There they are. Ah, they're running. Forget them. Very nice. And just as I clicked end battle, she, uh, as you heard from that gunshot, she spotted and fired. So. But anyway, this episode has uh, probably been quite long. I think I uh, 
think I went over the one hour mark. So yeah, I will see you next time. Goodbye and take care.